Here's your smart fact of the day. You know what Charles the Third, Winston Churchill, Lord Nelson, Napoleon the Third, Muhammad Ali, Jinnah, Lawrence Olivier, and Duke Ellington have all got in common? Well, they were all suckers for something called Savile Row suits. Now, Savile Row tailoring is men's and women's bespoke tailoring that happens only on Savile Row and neighboring streets, which is in Mayfair, Central London. This started in 1846, and it is essentially bespoke, which means the word bespoke is when cloth for a suit is supposed to be spoken for by individual customers. So it is the epitome of customization. And with this example of what customization is, in today's episode of Smarter with Sid, we're going to figure out what this term actually means, how it differs from another word which is called personalization, and what the future is for both customization and personalization. Let's go. Now, on Smarter with Sid, what we do is we give context before we speak of anything else. It was just the other week that I decided to buy a suit for myself. I didn't have a really good suit because most of the times when I'm wearing clothes, they happen to be the t-shirts and the jeans that you wear when you know you're teaching. But the fact is, I realized that I don't have a suit, and maybe I should have one. So I said, okay, let me get one. So I asked a friend of mine, and he said instead of actually going in for the regular suits that you will get on famous um, shops and i'm not going to name the brands uh, nothing wrong with them why not go in for a custom suit or a bespoke suit and i said okay let's go and my experience was pretty interesting so it's this obscure little shop on karve road in pune i went over there it was clearly something which the guy was very used to the shop was quite empty unlike a lot of you know these modern shops where you see so many um, you know people who hanker on and say okay would you want to buy this would you want to buy that none of that it was just this old tailor and his assistant took my measurements asked me some particular things looked at my shoulder fit etc i'm not going to bore you with the details but called me for a trial i asked for some adjustments and within a week i got a suit now this suit is a customized suit because it is totally made for me so i made sure that i didn't have pockets where where they were unnecessary and stuff like that and it was selected by me you know the cloth was selected by me and it was i was completely emotionally invested in the development of the suit and so was the tailor and it was a very nice personal experience but it is something called customization now what is customization it actually means that the suit is developed along with the customer the customer makes the specifications the tailor executes those specifications now compare and contrast that to a big brand wherein you go and buy something which is really expensive because you know unlike savile row suits which cost a bomb these suits were probably half the price probably more comfortable and probably dare i say better looking on me than the usual store fit so i'm pretty happy with my customized thing but i don't know whether i'm going to take on customization as a one solution fits all across all categories and that's when i began to think about the word customization because in my class especially in the class that i teach on customer experience design we use these two terms customization and personalization so now customization i guess everyone's understood so far you go in and you give customized requirements to your tailor who executes it for you maybe the tailor makes suggestions you know involved sort of experience but the customer is in charge personalization is a very interesting thing now imagine your instagram feed for example and in your instagram feed you're getting a lot of recommendations you're getting a lot of uh, you know uh, posts and you know follow this person follow that person etc and we all call it the algorithm but this algorithm is personalized for you now whether it's Instagram or YouTube or whatever it may be the content that you're seeing you're not customizing but you are giving your preferences to the platform through what you like what you share and that is being understood and therefore content is being personalized for you and over a period of time this personalization becomes more and more connected to what you want so you are training the system in a way to give content which is more and more personalized to you now it has negatives and positives of course and we are going to talk a little bit about both but that's the difference between personalization and customization customization is done by you personalization is done by the 
provider. So what are the advantages of, uh, you know, customization? The advantage is the biggest advantage of customization is your emotional involvement in the development of things. So you are invested. So as a provider of customizable goods and services, you are certainly going to get the emotional investment of your customer. That's the biggest advantage. The biggest disadvantage is that, of course, it means that you will be involved, which means time and effort. So it's difficult to scale anything which is essentially customizable. Various kinds of customizations are there, though, which help in this whole thing of scale. So you can have something called adaptive customization, wherein there is a basic sort of template. Like, for example, there's a basic suit design, and then you're able to kind of customize that suit design with some changes for yourself. And this happens on software systems and so on and so forth. Uh, suits and meals even, gluten-free, lactose-free, you get what I'm saying. So there's a basic template and you're able to. So that's adaptive customization. The basic template is there. There's sometimes only the design of it is customized, but everything else is, is there. So the engine of something might be completely the same, but the metal body, but the color can be to your taste of a car or of a boat or something like that. So there are various ways of customization, but the biggest disadvantage is that you may not be able to scale because it requires a different kind of effort to customize each and everything for your customer. Of course, you're going to get loyalty. So that's the advantage for it. Personalization. Now let's talk of personalization. Of course, over a period of time, personalization works immensely well because what happens is that the system learns about your preferences and tries to produce stuff which is connected to your preferences, leads you towards spending more time, money, and attention onto that platform. So personalization is less effort for you as a customer, but it is effort that is built into the system. So again, it might be a one-time effort to build an algorithm of sorts for the company, but it's not like continuously you have millions of people trying to service each and every customer or client. You know, Instagram will have to employ half of the world if it goes into customizable solutions. So therefore, it's personalized. What's the danger of personalization? Well, of course, it's privacy. Yeah, sure, you heard me right. If you are going to go into a world wherein you are not sure about the amount of information you want to give to your platform, which is Instagram or YouTube, or to your companies or to your you know insurance providers or whoever they may be, it becomes more and more difficult for true personalization to happen. So therefore, that's the negative of personalization. So to my mind, what is the thing that you should actually choose in order to go ahead? Should it be customization or personalization? There's no simple answer to this, unfortunately. But if you are trying to be a niche business, if you're trying to be a niche business, maybe focusing on profits rather than growth and revenue, and if you want to build loyalty and trust amongst your customers, customization might be the best way to go ahead. On the other hand, if you're looking for scale, and if you have an ability to get customers to share data with you in spite of privacy concerns, then personalization might be the best way for you, right? So customization and personalization, two really interesting words, sound very similar to each other. A lot of times people, they kind of think one is the other, but it's not. They're almost exactly opposite in meaning. I hope maybe this has uh, contributed to your learning about customer experience. And I really enjoyed making this episode because I had to literally learn customization and personalization so well that I could explain it to you in terms of a suit that I just made. That's what learning is, right? So you got to make sure that your learning happens in a way that is immediately relatable. Do check out nextlevellearning.com, which is my commercial plug over here wherein I make branding and content strategy and many more things to come uh, more relatable and therefore more learnable. And on Smarter with Sid, if you like this episode, do like and subscribe to this podcast. And hey, on IVM, you've got a lot of customized platform building podcasts for you. Do check them out. On that happiness.